Hi folks, welcome to Dutch Cooking. Today we're doing a collaboration with all these uh, fellow YouTubers. I'll put a link in below. We're doing Show Is Your Fatty. To get this fatty started, I've got 600 grams, that's one and a half pounds of ground chicken. And I'm using tandoori tikka gold rub and that's from A and O so I'm not going to measure this out I'm just going to uh, give it a good liberal uh, shake and we're going to get the hands in and give it a mix yep I think we still need some more let's keep on applying it we want to really taste that uh, tikka taste so our ground mince is ready. Now I've got four chicken goujons and I'm going to apply the same rub to these. Give these a good covering as well. People have commented on some of the videos on why I use a commercially produced rub. My answer is, well, why well, try to reinvent the wheel? These are good quality uh, products and that's why I use them. Next thing to start forming our fatties. I'm using a sushi mat here. It's covered in cling film or sara wrap. We're just going to take our meat and we're just going to push it onto the uh, sushi mat. We're looking for between quarter and half inch thickness all over. We're going to try and keep it square. Once we've done that, we need to add some cheese. I've got two, I'm going to use two slices of cheddar cheese. Place them down the middle. And now we're going to take our chicken goujons and place these on. As you can see here, I'm placing the thick end and the two thin ends together. This is trying to keep the uh, diameter of the fatty consistent all the way along. Now we're going to use the sushi mat to form our fatty. So we're just going to pick both sides up, put a bit of pressure on, squeeze it in. That's the basic shape of our fatty. Now we're going to release the sour wrap from the uh, sushi mat. I actually put this on a bit too tight. Now we're going to pull up. Pull the sour wrap over, twist the edge, and I'm just going to roll it so it tightens up. And that's the basic shape of our fatty. <laughs> now really, you should be chilling this for a couple of hours so it firms up a bit. Right, we're going to make the bacon weave. I'm using the uh, sushi mat again with the sour wrap. I've got 17 rashes of bacon. We're going to lay eight down like this, if you notice as well. I'm putting the thick end of the bacon to the thin end. This is also to help with consistency. And all we do is fold the alternative ones down halfway. Lay a piece of bacon across. Take these back. And now we take the alternative ones and we take them down. Lay a piece of bacon across. And take these back on. As you see, this is uh, making the appearance of a of a weave, we just carry on doing this. And there we have one bacon weave for our fatty. 
Right. Take the fatty back, unwrap it. We can place this in the centre of our bacon weave. Put two extra pieces of bacon just to cover the ends. Now we're going to use the sushi mat to apply the bacon weave. So pull it tight up. Pull the other side tight up. Probably made this fatty just a little bit too uh, too big. We'll just stretch the bacon over. cover that joint I'm just going to apply one extra rasher of bacon. Now we're going to apply our tikka gold again. That's our fatty ready to cook. So we've got our Kamado here running around about 135 degrees C that's 275 F. Uh, I've got a chunk of apple wood in the bottom. We get the lid down and then we're going to get cooking. So this is taking about two and a half hours to get to 74 degrees C. That's 165 degrees F internal temperature. And we're ready. So we get our fatty off. Look at the lovely mahogany colour of that. There you are. Chicken tikka fatty served with pillar rice. Now we're going to top this off with some chicken tikka masala. We're going for the full curry uh, experience here. A good old sprinkle of fresh coriander. My wet hands here, it's sticking to my hands. We'll give it a cut and see what we've got. So there's our fatty. Cut a slice. See the chicken goujons on the inside, nicely cooked, and I'm well happy with that smoke ring. So we taste. You can really taste that chicken tikka gold. The chicken tikka masala sauce adds something special to it. Try a bit of the uh, goujon. Goujons are nice, moist, and tender. Don't forget to head down to the description to see the links for all the other collaborators who have taken part in this collaboration. If you like what we're doing here at Dutch Cooking, don't forget to subscribe and please ring that bell.